Okay, here, no, this one. Yeah. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on this channel. And today we will be talking about J ear. So let's get started. No, I'm not talking about this ear. Ow, ow, ow. But I am going to talk about a ear. Um, e y r e ear. J ear. So what is J ear about? Jane here is about the life of a woman with a lot of skipping called, as you could guess, Jane. And she has a pretty good life. Firstly, uh, one of her great accomplishments of her life was that she could become a good student. And she would go to heaven because for a lot of reasons. But her aunt and uncle hated her because, you know, for all reasons, some reason, uncles and aunts hate them. And then everybody spanked her, this little, I'm kidding, they didn't spank her, but they just locked her in a room. And when she started going to school, the principal, this principal said, Jane here is liar. She's stupid. She's unsmart. She doesn't pay attention well. She is a liar. Do not believe her. And boy, Jane here. And yeah. And that's exactly what happened for everything that could happen at all. For now, Jane here even seems to work out that when everybody, at least half the school except Jane, got the got the fever, typhoid fever, the principal was blamed for it, and the school shut down. Every the last students were transferred to a better, cleaner, and nicer school. Which most parents who are very cruel and bully like would not even would not even like even put their children in. I like they have you know, but there's some love there. And when Jane grew up being very educated, she started learning French and when she finally was able to master French, she went to become a governess. And when she became a governess, great things happened. Well, for one, she was able to become a governess for a child who seemed to go to school. She should have gone to school. And then the child's father eventually proposed him, proposed Jane for marriage. And when they were going to marry, and when they were about to marry, when they were about to marry, this happened. They found out that Grace Poole was was alive and that she was actually the father um called mr rochester's wife who is still alive and he has to live with her because that is the literal rule back then you can't marry someone without unmarrying someone else well and turns out Grace Poole is just the keeper, and she pretty much was not Grace Poole. His wife was actually Mrs. Rochester, and she was kept by Grace Poole. That's exactly what happened. And a few years later, Jane returned to Mr. Rochester's which was burnt, and it was said that Mrs. Rochester suicided herself by being a maniac and setting the house on fire, and actually blinded Mr. Rochester. And when Jane here became Jane here Rochester, she was praised, and they lived happily. But Mr. Rochester was blind for two whole years until they, when he was able to see what Jane was wearing. And when he saw his firstborn in his arms, he saw the boy had inherited his own eyes as once as they once were large, brilliant, and black. Rochester Edward Rochester Jr. And Edward Rochester Sr. But I'm not sure of his name, I just made that name up. And right now, that's how this book ends. Jane here is a story about tragedy and how one little mishap might change the lives of everyone else. 
Everyone doesn't seem to be working out as much as people might think. But in this book, we learn a lot about friendship, that we think friendship, and a little something we call love. Everyone has a soul and feelings. Just because that they're poor and on a very low state doesn't mean that they aren't full of they aren't that doesn't mean that they aren't full of love and affection affection. Everyone has a little bit of a soul inside themselves. Do not say that there is a amount of something in there and th th the poor people have the least amount of souls. Or no soul at all. Like dogs or cats. I mean everyone has a soul. Even animals have a soul. I'm not sure about plants, but animals surely have a soul. Except soul is just the invisible part of you that actually makes you you. It makes you see and it makes you perceive things that makes you learn things quickly. I don't know about dogs and cats, but they probably have souls because without souls they could even see or even learn properly. Or even become great learners and students. And that is the end of this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode. Now, now, peace.